In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to test the motor direction and also how to compensate for motor dead zone on a skid steering vehicle. Now, most of what I'm going to run over is actually on the wiki. So you can open up rgpilot.org, docs, rover, first time setup, configuration, and then motor and servo configuration. And you'll find down here near the bottom, there are two sections that I'm going to go over. One of them is called minimum throttle, and the other one is testing motor direction. For this demonstration, I'm using my Ion Robotics rover, and I've put a couple of pieces of tape on the wheels just to make it a little bit more obvious uh, which direction the, the motors are spinning when we come to that. Let's first test the motor direction. So we connect with the mission planner, then we go to the setup, optional hardware, motor test page. And as described on the wiki, a uh, little hard to see, but test motor C is for the left motor, test motor D is for the right motor. So test motor C should make the left motor move. And it does not. Now the reason is because of the dead zone. Uh, but for now, we're just testing the direction, so we're just going to make this throttle a little bit higher. So let's increase to 15%. Then we'll test the left motor. Yeah, that's spinning in the right direction. And then the right motor, that's also spinning in the correct direction. So that's good. If they were not spinning in the right direction, I would need to go to the servo page, which is under mandatory hardware, servo output. And then I could check the one of these two or both of these reverse check boxes to reverse the direction. Next, we're going to adjust the throttle min parameter to account for the dead zone in the motors and the ESCs. So first thing we need to do is figure out how big is this dead zone. So we know that both motors spin at 15%, so the dead zone is less than that. How about 10? Still spinning. How about 5? Okay, so at 5%, the right motor is not spinning. How about seven? Yep, at seven, the right one does spin very slowly. So that's good. It probably does not spin at six. That's right. So the upper end of the dead zone is about 7%. That's a level where both motors spin. That's good. We can also check in the negative direction to be sure that it's even. So minus 7%, that we can try minus 6 to see if they keep on spinning. Yeah, okay, so on the right motor, minus 6% did not allow it to spin. So that seems to show that the dead zone is minus, minus 7 to plus 7. Now, if it was different on the two motors, say for example, one of them, you know, they started spinning at very different levels, we might need to come back over to the servo output page and adjust this trim value, these two trim values, to make it so that they both start spinning at the same, same level. But in my case, got lucky, uh, the trims are fine at 1500. So back on the motor test page, we found that the uh, dead zone is from minus 7% to plus 7%. So what we're going to do is come over to the full parameter tree, we're going to look for the throttle min parameter, and we're going to set this to 7%. Then back on the motor test page, we should now find that at very low throttle levels, both motors spin. Yeah, 1% and they both spin. Minus 1. Oh, minus 1. Ice minus 1% worked for both motors. So that's it. We're done.